One of the things I love the most about being the Vagabond Chef is doing farm to table dinner events across the state and the region. I've got to cook in a lot of really cool places and recently I got to cook at Hawk's Nest State Park. Now whenever I do these dinners it's always super interesting to see what people's real big takeaway is or what their favorite dish is and a lot of times it surprises me and I got a lot at this last dinner. People love the cream spinach, they love the cider braised cabbage, but the one thing that people talked about the most was the beer bread. Getting ready for this dinner, I knew we were going to be working with Bridge Brew Works out of Fayetteville, and their beer is amazing. I talked to them about what beers we should use, and I had the idea of doing a first course that would really highlight the beers that they make and how I can cook with them. So we did a beer bread and beer pimento cheese. While we were talking, they suggested using this barley wine beer that they had made. And to be quite honest, I have a beer bread recipe that we use in my house all the time. So I'm just going to take this recipe and use the barley wine beer in it. To make our beer bread, we're going to need three cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of sugar, 12 ounces of beer, and a half cup of melted butter, or maybe a little bit more. We're going to preheat our oven at 375 degrees and then assemble our dry ingredients. Now, if you don't have a sifter for your flour, go ahead and just put everything in a bowl and use a whisk to do a dry mix and make sure that there are no clumps and that everything is evenly mixed throughout the dry mix before you add your 12 ounces of beer. Once we add our beer to our dry mixture, we're gonna bring that all together it, and it does not need to be smooth. In fact, it's better if it stays clumpy. Let's get a little extra butter heated up in a cast iron skillet just so form an even better crust. Then we're gonna pour our batter into the cast iron skillet and then pour even more butter on top of that batter. To really take our beer bread next level, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some coarse ground JQ Dickens and salt on top and pop it in the oven. Set a timer for half an hour, and once that goes off, go ahead and check your bread and give it a poke and see if it's cooked all the way through. Today, it took about 35 to 38 minutes to get it cooked all the way through. Once a toothpick comes out clean, you're good. Go ahead and let your bread rest for about 15 minutes. Once your bread has cooled, you're safe to go ahead and cut it and enjoy the hell out of it. Now, you can add more butter to it if you want. I mean, I've heard of crazier things, but it doesn't need it. You can eat it straight the way it is. You can let it cool. Really, there's no wrong way to eat this bread. This recipe can work with any beer, and the beer you choose is really going to change the taste of the final product. So what beer would you put in your beer bread? Let me know in the comments below. And hey guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button.